Uh, it looks like Woj knew that Vogel was fired before Vogel did. Yep. LeBron gets another coach fired. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, does this fix anything? Okay. First on the LeBron gets another coach fired. There have been five coaches that have been fired either while or right after coaching LeBron James. Paul Silas, who was below 500, except for when he got to coach LeBron. Uh, Mike Brown, who was below 500, except for when he got to coach LeBron and LeBron took him to a finals. Uh, David Blatt, who never coached in America before he coached LeBron and won't coach in America since then. LeBron took him to a finals. Luke Walton, who's terrible, was bad before LeBron got there, was bad with the Kings. And now Frank Vogel, who won 51% of his games before he got to coach it's LeBron kinda, and then won a title. It's kind of crazy how Vogel gets fired when LeBron picked his teammates. Okay. I feel like they should fire LeBron. Well, okay, what they should do is fire Rob Blinken, the guy who actually picked the players, and the GM. I agree with you there, almost. Listen, does it fix anything? It doesn't fix a lot. But here's why Vogel had to go. You can't have the most disappointing year in the history of your franchise and not fire a bunch of people. That's first of all. Second of all, you look at it, this year's coach of the year is probably going to be Taylor Jenkins in Memphis. But other candidates are Monty Williams, Jason Kidd, and Ty Lu. What do those three guys all have in common? They are all people the Lakers could have hired to be their head coach. All people LeBron wanted them to hire after they got rid of Luke Walton, and yet they chose Frank Vogel. So those guys are clearly helping teams. Vogel, the, the Lakers team was a mess. I get all that. But they also had, I think, the second most blown double-digit leads of any team in basketball. That's got to be partially on the coaching. But the point that you asked about, I don't even know if you were making it, but it's the more important point, which is the fact that this leaks while he's at the press conference just shows another piece of evidence of how mismanaged and poorly run the Lakers are from top to bottom. That Woj thumbs out this tweet and Vogel has to answer for it before anyone actually talks to him. That's just terrible management top to bottom within the Lakers. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.